Welcome back. We are talking with Representative Kevin Calvi about academic scholarship dollars to our state universities. Are Oklahoma students getting passed over losing scholarship dollars to out-of-state students? We got a couple of Facebook questions. Michaela writes, why is he focusing on where scholarship money is going when we still don't have a compromise to plug the hole in our state budget? What do you say? This is on the minds of every Oklahoma. Sure it is and should be. There's actually funds available to take care of this $214 million hole and it's very frustrating to me because I do agree we should you know, plug that gap and those three agencies impacted mental health, DHS and healthcare authority Medicaid uh, ought to be plugged. But there's actually, we've already passed out of the house uh, bills using just available cash to take care of half of that. And there's cash available for the rest of that too. Instead, some people are just absolutely uh, determined to try to raise taxes and they're creating a sense of panic amongst vulnerable people. I think it's unconscionable to do that. I think that we ought to you know, just pass the cash and, and go home. As far as you know, other important things like a teacher pay raise, which I support, I think that teachers will get their money whether we do it in special session or regular session. We should put that off till we have, uh, can go through the budget and look at where we can reduce waste and fund those things. Right now, let's just pass the available cash and, and uh, quit wasting the taxpayers' money, $30,000 a day in special session. That's what we should have done back in September. And I'm very frustrated that that wasn't done then. What can you do now as you're, you know, the, the days are, the, the hours are ticking, the days are going by, what are you all doing trying to get to that compromise? Well, the, out of the House of Representatives, they've already passed, like I said, you know, half the money just with available cash. There is also available cash to take care of the other half. They have also in the House, over my objection, passed a tax increase uh, that would um, take care of about half the remainder of that. Um, some of those bills have been passed by the Senate or waiting action by the governor. Others are awaiting action by the Senate. Um, the Senate may be sending over a couple bills uh, to the House very recently, uh, but the problem is they focused initially on trying to get a tax increase when that's, that's not what the voters want. And I mean, as is evident from the last tax increase that was on the ballot that went down in flames, and it's not what most legislators are going to vote for. So they should have focused on just let's quickly plug this gap, uh, alleviate the anxiety amongst these vulnerable people. That's what we should have done from the get-go, but I'm not in charge, so we do what we can. Let's take one more question here real sure. quickly. Roy asks, why is it more important to import talent than to spend tax money on state's K through 12 education system and teachers to develop talent here in Oklahoma? Are legislators interested in helping children in this state or not? Well, that's exactly my point, is we ought to be reserving these funds for Oklahomans rather than uh, spending it on uh, Texans or people from China or whatever foreign country the other students come from. Um, it's fine if they want to come here and pay full freight, but scholarship money means you're uh, using it on people who are not Oklahoma residents, it means that you are actually denying potentially an education to an Oklahoma resident, and that's not the best use of our taxpayer dollars. And real quickly, you say that you will introduce legislation once the regular session comes around regarding this issue. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, keep us posted. I will. Let us know how it goes. I will. And you're about to have your sixth child. You know yes. a lot about education. You <laughs> I have do. six children. I do. Nine yes. all the way till almost born. So right. we know that this is an important issue to you as well. Obviously, education is critically important. We need to make sure that it's done in a uh, cost efficient way for the taxpayers and in a way that uh, promotes the best education for our students. And I think that means uh, maybe not so many administrators. And let's reduce that and put more money into teacher pay. Uh, which I introduced a bill on already in special session, will again in regular session. But let's use our tax dollars more efficiently to get better education. That's uh, a goal that everybody ought to agree on. Representative Kevin Calvey, thank you for being here. Thank you. Keep baby. us posted. Sure and will. best wishes Thanks. on that new baby. Thank you. Thank All you. Right.